Well then. What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you are watching Reptili Addis. If you enjoy pet related content specifically geared towards exotics such as reptiles, isopods, arachnids and other invertebrates, then please consider subscribing down below. Don't forget to ding the notification bell to know when my next video comes out. If you came here today to watch some awesome centipedes eat, then you came to the right place. If somehow you ended up on this video and you're actually really afraid of centipedes, click off now, backspace, jump off your chair run into the other room, whatever you have time to still do because we are about to start showing some huge, beautiful centipedes. I'm gonna be feeding one, two, three, four of my centipedes. The species that we're gonna be feeding are my Scolopendra gigantea white legs, which are probably not actually true gigantea, and my Scolopendra robusta, which is another awesome large Peruvian centipede. But the thing that's on the menu today is an interesting prey item. It's called the tomato hornworm, and it's actually the larva of a species of hawk moth. They're juicy, fat worms, and these centipedes are gonna have a feast. Senor, would you like your steak well done? No, because today they're having them rare. All jokes aside, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we have one of the beautiful centipedes who appears to have knocked over her water dish. Hey, how you doing there? Hey. Yeah, let's uh, kind of refill that. But yeah, that's one of them. And then we have a few more over here and another one underneath. All right. First thing I'm gonna do here is gently lift up the animal's cork hide like so. I actually keep my centipedes on a aquarium soil and then they have a full water dish. This is to prevent mycosis. These animals are recent arrivals and unfortunately they do have a little bit. You can see some on the odd leg, but the antenna has a little bit there too. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead in here and give the animal her hornworm. Hello, my lady. There we go. She's grooming right now, but I think she will grab that in a second. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh. Juicy. Wow, look at that. So here we go. We're gonna take the horn arm like so. And uh, hey, you. Come on down. Here you go. Want it? Come get it. Oh, please, not from the tail. That kind of makes you feel bad. There we go. Nice. Good job. Good job. Near the crunching. Now I'm going to try something because they're generally not too inclined to get spooked. Yeah. So this one's just eating. So I actually just I I've worked with them quite a bit. These ones are a lot less like just sporadic than some of the other species. So just want to prop them up here so you guys can get a cool look. This animal feeding. Incredible. So now I'm actually trying to film a time lapse of this one eating. So at the end of the video, we can kind of watch it finish the whole hornworm, hopefully. That should be pretty cool.
awesome. All right, we're gonna go ahead and feed the last of the Scolopendra Gigantia white legs in here. I'm just gonna unlock the container here. These centipedes are all gonna be getting upgraded housing in the next month or two. All right, here we go. We have our hornworms here. Hello there, you hungry? Oh, yes you are, holy mackerel, okay. Well then, poor hornworm. Again, you know, we do this in the most respectful way possible. That is an animal's life being taken away to feed my pet. Uh, it is very impressive to see the animal's instinct and how it subdues its prey and kind of gives it a hug. And you notice that the hornworm tries to bite. The centipede knows to pin it down and turn it around and make sure that it suppresses its attempts quickly. And insect larvae are very soft bodied in their tissue, loaded with muscle, but it's also lots of fluid. So you'll see a whole ton of hemolymph flowing out of this animal onto the substrate as it feeds on it. But I think that's all pretty much over now. Oh sure, you wanna go eat in privacy. Okay, yeah, whatever floats your boat. Awesome though, what a beautiful animal, so elegant. I, I know centipedes aren't for everybody, but I do have a video where I uh, talk about when I first got them. You can watch it up here. The links there. I just really want to break down the stigma surrounding these types of animals. I really do love centipedes. At first I was a bit scared of them, but I've really grown to appreciate them. And I want people to see the elegance behind these animals. Awesome. And last but not least, we're going to do the centipede that is in that enclosure, which is the Scolopenda robusta. Right away on this next animal, you're gonna notice the color is different. Uh, it's actually just grooming right now. But yeah, this is a Scolopenda robusta, also native to Peru. Uh, the Scolopendra gigantea white leg fetches a hefty cost. However, this animal is also not very cheap and uh, is, I would say, just about as uncommon, if not more uncommon. So I'm very happy to own one. Very, very beautiful centipede to have in the collection. I find it's also very quick, which is kind of exciting uh, to see it eat. But yeah, gently interrupt her. Well, I don't actually know if it's female or not. It's uh, grooming and see if it wants to eat in front of us. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's interested. Oh, sorry about that. I always try to get these hornworms to them head first whenever I have control of it. I just, I hate to see them be eaten backwards. It's just terrible. I know they don't feel pain, but you know, as much as I can control it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're okay. You're okay. Okay, here it goes. Ah, might have uh, instilled a fear response. Oh. Oh boy. Don't tell me you're gonna go for the tail. Interesting, interesting. What's going on here? Are they becoming friends? Are you becoming friends? What are you doing? What's happening? Are you just gonna get along with the hornworm? Maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. Well, so much for the back end. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, thank you. See? It knew exactly how to reorient it. The hornworm is using its little uh, horn there to try and defend itself. And did it work? Wow, okay, that is awkward. Centipede, are you trying to find the hornworm? Yes, you are. Ooh, there we go. So centipedes actually evolved uh, that last or first segment there. You think their fangs or mandibles are actually hollow legs. Nothing to do with its mouth. It actually has a proper mouth, several sharp uh, mandibular structures in its face. Uh, but those fang-like appendages that are piercing the worm are actually hollow legs. Those are actually legs. Interesting fact. Oh yeah, she definitely got it there. Oh, oh geez. This guy uh, or girl is just about done here, so I think it's time to have her go back in the enclosure before she uh, gets a little carried away. 
So I guess she had no interest in eating the stomach contents of the hornworm, which is interesting. Are you ready to go back? See how big this animal is? Wow. Okay. There you go. And I'll get you your water in a sec. Look at that amazing animal. I can't wait to get them in larger enclosures. I need to give these four incredible animals names. So if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comment section down below. Oh, look at that. Some more grooming. Cleaning off after a big meal. Well, friends, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Watching all four of my centipedes eat. It was a lot of fun feeding them those hornworms. It's really interesting to see their feeding response and now they're all plump and well fed, ready for the next meal in a few days. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe as I mentioned before, ding the notification bell knowing the next video is coming out. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. Take care everybody.